What is up, Wolfman fans? Welcome back. Um, I know it's been a while since I've been on. Um, last week, guys, did did Mother's Day sneak up on any of you guys? Any else? Anybody else out there? Because it definitely snuck up on me. And it's weird because it's not like I didn't know Mother's Day was coming, but it got. It was kind of one of those things where I kind of forgot what day it was on or rather, more accurately, wasn't paying attention. So it hit and I was like, and, and it wasn't even the actual Mother's Day. I think Mother's Day was actually on Sunday, but everybody was celebrating it, it seemed like on Saturday. And uh, cause I, I know myself, I, I typically have to work on Sundays. So it kind of snuck up on me. I didn't get to put out a video. So it is what it is. And uh, yeah, there we go. A couple things I wanted to talk about today, guys. Uh, first, of, first and foremost, and let's start this off on a on a little bit of a laugh, a little bit of a light note. How ridiculous is this? Uh, is this list of Democratic candidates for 2020? Oh my God! It's it's like it just keeps growing, and every new addition to the list is as is. J just as much, if not more, ridiculous than the previous name. Uh, and it's funny. It's a there's a bunch of like uh, mayors and stuff like that, like town mayors and stuff. They swear that they're gonna stand up and they're gonna stop Trump. Like every one of them have said that we're we're gonna stop Trump. Okay, you act like he's like the most evil being in the world. Big question for all of you guys out there. How much has your life changed since Donald Trump took office? Honestly, how much, is, how much has your life changed? My life hasn't really changed much. It might have, I think my life got a little bit better on the financial side, I think. I'm not really sure. I can't really tell much of a difference. But what I can say, and, and the reason I can't tell much of a difference is because you know, my wife opened up her own business and, you know, this is the first year she had to pay taxes. So we actually had to pay more into taxes and stuff. And I don't know, I don't, I, I think we actually, we didn't really get much back on a return. So, you know, whatever, but the quality of my life hasn't really changed much. So the question would go out to all of you guys, same thing. Has, has anything changed in your life or are you just out there screaming racism sexism, bigotry, and all that crap because you heard it somewhere else? Do you actually see it in your everyday life? And I, and I mean this as a genuine question. I do mean this. If you guys see things like this in a daily life, let me know. I mean, it's not like I'm going to do anything. I can do anything about it, but I, I would actually like to hear that feedback. Uh, if you don't, like me, I don't see these things on a day. Also, the only time I really see stuff like this is in the media, I, really. In my day-to-day -day life, I really don't see much. And we've talked about this before. Now, I do hear people, people talk about it a lot more often, like it's the biggest news there is. But I don't really see it, personally. Um, and my quality of life, I don't think is much different now than it was uh, under Obama. Now, it's kind of hard to judge the two because under Obama, I was still in the Army. And it, under Trump, I'm out of the army. So yeah, there are differences in my life that could really be equated to just my time in the army versus out of the army. You see what I'm saying? But other than that, all these people saying we're going to stop Trump. I, I don't really get it. I, I really don't understand what they're talking about. Like he's got some of these evil machinations and these, you know, plans within plans of, you know, terrible things that he wants to do. What are they talking about? And then honestly, do they believe that that there are sane people out here that, that are with them. And I guess there are because there are people that are supporting them. Um, the like of Beto O'Rourke. I don't know what the, I don't know where he thinks he's going to go with it. M Dude couldn't win Texas. He's not going to win the U.S. Um, it's just hysterical. It's going further and further off the rails. Elizabeth Warren wants to run for president. The cards are pretty well stacked against her after that whole Native American debacle, you know, with her lineage and all that stuff. 
And nobody, nobody would have said anything except for the fact that she made the claim and she made such a big deal out of it. But other than that, nobody would have said anything. If she just kept her mouth shut, she, we'd probably, she'd probably be all right. She might have a, a chance, a more of a chance anyway. Uh, I don't remember his name. The guy, he's a, he's a mayor of New York and he's sucking on all fronts. And he swears he's going to get up there and fix a lot of the problems in this nation and, you know, fix, uh, fix Trump and all this stuff. Dude can't even fix his own city. His own constituents don't like him. Again, I don't know how the hell he's going to... You guys got dogs? I get dogs. And every once in a while, you get that weird dog hair in your mouth. It's so weird. Anyway, he can't even fix his own city. Screw him. He's not going to make it. Um, you think Kamala Harris is running? Yeah, I don't need to say anything more on that one. But what's funny is, there's even people that are being um, suggested as potential 2020 candidates for the Democratic Party. Believe this, if you will. You got people like the CEO of J.P. Morgan Chase. I, I, I really kind of thought that would go against everything the Democratic Party would want, but I guess not. Or at least, you know, want on the surface, but I guess they're, they're just showing their cards to everybody at this point. Um... <clears throat> Michelle Obama, like in what in what capacity would she make a good president? Like, point me to some examples because I have seen nothing. Um, Oprah Winfrey, look, just because Trump had a TV show and was already rich and famous before he became president doesn't mean that everybody's going to be able to do this. I don't know if I'd want Oprah as president, okay? Although I think she'd probably do better than Michelle Obama. But I'll leave that. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg. Oh, hell no. I, no, screw that. This guy does not, he needs to keep his shovel looking face out in Silicon Valley. And he, yeah, don't, we don't need him in the presidency. We, just, the way he's running Facebook, we certainly don't want him in the presidency. No, thank you. Uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Now that one, if that one seems out of left field, it, it very much is. And if you don't believe me, you can look that up. What? I don't understand. Maybe there's something about The Rock that I'm missing. Uh, maybe there's something about Dwayne Johnson I don't understand. As far as I know, he, he, he's just he's a, re a former wrestler and he's an actor. I don't know if he does any has any political ambitions. I don't know if he's if he gets out there and puts out his political opinion like so many celebrities do nowadays. I don't know. But you're going to push for him as president? I don't get it. Whatever. Maybe I'm just out of my mind. So, yeah, it uh, looks like the Democratic ticket is, uh, a, you know, right now it's a veritable clown car. And uh, 2020 race is shaping up to be a big event, almost akin to the Super Bowl, but like a long Super Bowl. So yeah, that one's interesting. Uh, I'm having a good laugh at some of the uh, Democratic nominees kind of fighting amongst themselves. They're looking like, oh my God, Joe Biden's the front runner. That, do, that does not spell anything good for them. But anyway, moving on from that, uh, there was something specific that I wanted to talk about. And I wanted to, I wanted, it's kind of a warning, guys. I don't want you to be and this is something that I was talking to my buddy over there at Condition, Condition Actual. Uh, I was talking to him about, and it really got me thinking. Guys, don't fall in to, there's a couple of different traps you don't want to fall into. One of them is don't fall, your, fall into the trap of being uh, labeled with uh, the tag of like Republican or Democrat or Libertarian. Don't fall into that, that trap. You don't want to sign yourself completely to one of these parties because that means that you're closing yourself off to any other open ideas. I mean, it's not to say that every Republican doesn't, you know, that they think the exact same way. Every Democrat seems to, but every Republican doesn't necessarily. It's hard to say because they're a lot better at keeping their mouths shut. But my point is, the problem is when you, you lock yourself into those little groups, you, you tend to run the risk of cutting yourself off from different ideas. 
and boxing yourself within an echo chamber. And that's just dangerous thinking. You have to open your mind up to different possibilities and different th thought processes. You have to see things from both sides to be able to make an informed, intelligent decision. Avoid those traps. I don't really, I don't consider myself a Republican. I'm, the labels are okay, guys. I'm a constitutional conservative. It's a description of my, my belief system. I didn't give that a name, all right? I'm this not a political party. So, I will, I do lean a little more to the conservative side, but I will listen. I, I am open to hearing people. And my thoughts can change depending on what new information I take in. And I'd be willing to admit when I'm wrong. Don't fall into the trap of boxing yourself in with any one particular group just because their ideas are similar to yours. Don't close your mind off, guys. All right? At the same time, don't fall into the conspiracy theory trap. And what I mean by that is coming up with different ideas, different conspiracy theories about certain events, all right? Like 9-11, like what happened on some September 11th, uh, the Kennedy assassination, what happened, you know, whatever. You know, take your pick of various conspiracy theories throughout the throughout uh, the history of the uh, history of the <laughs> history of the universe, history of the world, whatever. <clears throat> don't fall into that trap of coming up with what you think happened and then finding the evidence that matches your pre-drawn conclusion. That's the problem with conspiracy theories. Conspiracy theories, you've come up with already a solution. The way it's supposed to work is you come up with a, hypo a hypothesis, all right? you know, scientific method, and then you start looking at the evidence and the way it's supposed to work, if the evidence presented doesn't match the hypothesis, the hypothesis is wrong. And you need to go back to the drawing board. You need to think again. What ends up happening every time, inevitably, is that we draw a conclusion before we've even looked at the evidence. Before we've looked at the facts, we draw a conclusion. And then we go through and look at the evidence. And we start cherry picking different facts and different pieces of evidence that either completely or even maybe slightly match our conclusion. Even if these facts can be skewed a little bit to fit that conclusion, that happens. Don't fall into that trap, guys. Take facts as they are and do your research. Never stop learning. I say this every time. Never stop learning. Never stop looking into the truth, into the facts. Don't be so caught up with the end game, the conclusion. Don't, don't do that. Don't be so caught up with it that you're blind to any evidence. Evidence can point you in any direction and you need to be cautious and be willing to follow in any direction. It's the whole idea of just like encountering a problem. You encounter a problem in life. A, a roadblock, if you will. You have to be willing to move to the left, move to the right, and then go forward, depending on what choice is available. You come to the fork in the road. Just because you said you're going to get to that point out at point C, which is way out there in front, you come to the fork in the road, and it goes left and right. There is no forward road. Now what do you do? Do you just keep walking forward? There's woods there, maybe a creek, maybe a swamp with some alligators. That's the kind of, I mean, I know that's kind of like, I'm reaching at this point for an analogy, but you see what I'm getting at. There's pitfalls to it, all right? The truth will lead you on a definite route if you just look at the truth. I mean, we may never know the end game to certain things, but staying abreast of current information, staying abreast of the truth, is going to get us a lot farther than sitting around speculating. So that's really all that is. And I, 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 
I'm kind of a conspiracy theorist. I'm just as guilty as anybody else. I have come up with my own conclusions and swore that this had to be the way because it's the only way that made sense to me. And then knew in, when presented with new information, not willing to accept it because it didn't match my conclusion. I've been guilty of that. And I've had to sit down and rethink things. So if ever somebody asked me, well, what do you think about this? I go, you know what? This, I have thought, I have, I'll say to them, I have thought this before, but, you know, this over here negates that. I'm willing to discuss. Again, I'll admit when I'm wrong. I'm a, I will admit when I don't know. And guys, there's a lot I don't know. But I'm always learning. And I always continue to try to seek that truth. On that note, that's the same note that, and like I said with Condition Actual, I've said this before. He, he's he's that same way. His plan, his his purpose is to give you those little nuggets of truth that kind of nudge you in the direction you need to go. Your point is to your job is to pick up those breadcrumbs and follow it for yourself. Now he's not going to give you every he's not going to lay out that definite path for you. He'll give you a place to start. After that, you're kind of on your own, but that's the way it should be. You don't, you don't need somebody to hold your hand and guide you through this. So I want you guys to keep that in mind. That's food for thought for the week. And like I said, question of the day, how has your life changed under President Trump? How has it gotten any better or worse since you've been under President Obama? If you couldn't tell, this is me wrapping up. But anyway... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it's been a while since I posted. A lot of things going on. As I always say, life gets in the way sometimes. It is what it is. I hope you guys have an extraordinarily awesome week uh, coming up. And I, and I really hope that your weekend has been as well awesome, even more so awesome. Your weekends, uh, time off of work, time spent with friends and family should always be so, so good. Should always be better. And if they're not, if things are going wrong in your life, hey man, I'll say a prayer for you. I'll keep you in my thoughts, keep you in my prayers, because I love you guys, and I don't want to see anybody, I don't want to see anybody suffer. I, I don't even know you guys, but I love you. And I want you to know that. I mean that for real. I love you and I care about every one of you. And I hope, uh, I hope and pray that all you guys, uh, your life is going well, and uh, I hope it continues to go well. And I hope you guys find success in everything you do. Uh, well, that's all from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you did, go ahead and click that like button. Go ahead and give me a subscribe. Um, links in the description down below for uh, Condition Actual and Savant. Uh, no, no, neither of them have posted in a while. But maybe you want to go back and see some of their uh, l earlier things that they have done. Uh, Condition Actual will be putting out something here shortly. Uh, he's just trying to figure all that out and get it together. He's got a lot of stuff going on in his head, guys, so give him some time. Um, anyway, you guys, as always, keep staying awesome, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, take it easy. Later.